The city center is full of tall buildings. If you want to build a TV tower here, it must be tall enough so that its signal is not blocked. But if it's too tall, it might not survive strong typhoons. To make it stronger and reduce wind resistance, engineers add many steel columns around the outside of the tower and connect them with beams. This open frame design allows wind to pass through, reducing direct pressure to spread the wind force evenly. They twist 24 steel columns counterclockwise into a spiral shape. This makes the wind flow upward and share its force across all the columns. However, strong winds at high altitudes can make steel tubes of the same diameter vibrate in sync, which could damage the tower. To stop this, engineers twist the columns again to create a slim waist in the middle. This shape breaks up the vibrations and also gives the tower a wider base, helping it stand more firmly. Building such a tower is expensive, and maintaining it costs a lot. To earn money, they place broadcasting equipment at the base, add an observation deck and a revolving restaurant in the middle, and even put a Ferris wheel and other attractions at the top to bring in visitors. To make the tower a city landmark, they attach over 7,000 light strips that can glow in different colors at night. Congratulations, you have just designed the Canton Tower.